Upscaling is the process of running a game at a low resolution and then trying your absolute best to reconstruct that image to make it appear the same as the native resolution. And upscaling may be the best tool to improve gaming performance because it both improves the responsiveness that the game is running at, reducing the latency, and it also makes the game smoother because you're at a higher frame rate. Upscaling may look just the same as running at native resolution if it's done right. So there's a minimal hit to the way the game looks while getting all of these benefits. The only problem with upscaling really is you gotta do it right. I'm gonna hide my camera so you guys can see the test. On the left side of the screen, we've got native resolution. In the middle, we have DLSS, which is NVIDIA's upscaler that is kind of hailed for its quality. And on the right side, we have FSR, and this is AMD's upscaler that isn't as much hailed for its quality. So if I go ahead and press play on the video and I just zoom in on this little, the tree that fell in the background, you can just see on the right side, FSR looks kind of all flickery and unstable, whereas both native and DLSS, this is on performance upscaling, so we're upscaling from 720p to 1440p. DLSS still looks really solid here, if I'm being honest. There's a little bit of detail lost in like this tree, but overall, it's not that bad. DLSS is able to reconstruct some of that detail on this grass, so you can see some amount of sharpness in there and native kind of can struggle too, but FSR especially, this looks like, like just a blob of grass on the ground here and FSR as well the ground just kind of looks blurry whereas DLSS and native like it looks so much sharper so you can see just like it depends on the situation but like something like FSR doesn't always do that good. NVIDIA's DLSS upscaling is able to do so well because it's based on AI. Now AI training can basically go in and it can look at what pixels should look like what when you upscale it and try to get the best way to intelligently upscale the image so we don't lose as much quality. That's something that FSR just can't do. And FSR itself is just based on a man-made algorithm that does this. I will say FSR does quite a good job for just being a man-made algorithm, like very talented engineers here, but it can almost not really touch what NVIDIA is doing here with DLSS. But the problem with DLSS is it's only available on NVIDIA's RTX graphics cards. So their most recent graphics cards from 2018 and beyond. That means that NVIDIA themselves, they've left behind their old GTX cards, like even the GTX 1650 or 1660, which also came out in 2018, along with their RTX cards, GTX 1060, 1070, 1080 Ti, some of the most legendary graphics cards of all time. This card is the go. Absolutely no questions about it. I've been left behind and can't use NVIDIA's DLSS upscaling along with AMD graphics cards. Here comes along a new player here. So let's, let's jump back into this test, all right? Now on the left side, we have DLSS. In the middle, we have FSR. And then on the right side, we have XESS. So Intel's upscaler. And you can see here, let's zoom in on that same piece of foliage and see how in the middle FSR is looking like very unstable and stuff, whereas XESS and DLSS are looking quite good. I would say XESS is looking a little bit soft, but it's not all that bad. If we look at the ground and the detail, yeah, I'd say DLSS is looking the sharpest here, but XESS is holding up quite well. It doesn't look as smeary, especially with this like dirt and stuff on the ground as FSR does in the middle as well as this foliage. Again, a lot of the uh, fine detail reconstruction is kind of being made up a little bit more on XCSS compared to FSR. And what's really interesting, XCSS is able to run on all kinds of GPUs. Any GPU can use this AI upscaler. And because it uses a DP4A fallback, you don't have to get all technical about it, but XCSS is able to work on any GPU out there. Now, it's only getting better because now Intel just introduced XCSS 1.3. So we were on XCSS 1.2 before, but now we're on 1.3 and they're making some really bold claims with this. And that's why we have to test it here because XCSS is available on all GPUs, but the, it had a few problems with it. And one of the main things is because it's running an AI algorithm and going through a DP4A fallback layer that if you weren't on an Intel graphics card that's able to hardware accelerate XCSS, then 
If you're on any other brand of GPU, you're taking a performance hit. Speaking of FPS values, what we're most excited to share about XCSS 1.3 are the expected performance increases. They are showing this on the ARC A750, which is an Intel graphics card. They don't Obviously, they're not going to show a competitor's graphics card, or right? I think that's kind of obvious. Yeah, but what we're seeing in games like Hitman 3, going from XCSS 1.2, 1.1, or 1.0, whatever version it was on, 63 FPS to 69. In Cyberpunk, 66 to 71. In Hogwarts Legacy, from 69 to 76. 71 to 76. But yeah, they're making really impressive claims here that this could almost match what the other upscalers are because that's one of the major problems with XCSS. You take that performance hit and that performance hit, if you're not on an Intel GPU, you would much rather just use FSR because the performance hit is a little bit too much. Let's hop in game and see what the heck this is all about. So we've got the RX 6600 in Remnant 2 here. This is an Unreal Engine 5 game. It's very demanding. As you can see, we're at medium settings at 1440p. We're getting about 44 FPS, just kind of looking at the, the big old crystal guy in the middle here. And you're like, ah, oh, man, I really want to play at 1440p on this card, which I don't blame you. So you might want to turn on something like FSR 3 and turn it on FSR performance in order to be able to play the game and at 60 FPS. And you can see that we're getting about 60 FPS, which is awesome. But FSR has a lot of issues in this game, and it doesn't take much to show you those issues. If you just look at the, I've shown this in many videos, but the backpack on my character is like, I don't know, it's like all buggy and glitching around as I'm just moving. That is FSR doing that. It's because FS, like these, these upscalers, they're temporal. So they take data over time uh, or the frames in over time and it combines them in order to reconstruct an upscaled image. Oh yeah, it gets me 60 FPS. It makes the game a lot more playable, but man, are the visual trade-offs even worth it? What are options? Well, <laughs> we're on an AMD card, so we don't have access to DLSS or anything. So we only have FSR, but we also have Intel's XCSS. The performance with XCSS isn't quite as good. So if we look around the same spot, and we're getting about 59 FPS. I will say that's really not that different in this case. Like I'd say the backpack looks a, a little better. Just overall here, like, uh, yeah, I'd probably want to rather play on XCSS and the performance difference isn't that bad. But what if we could get exactly the same performance or even better with XCSS? Well, we can check out their new update with XCSS 1.3. So in order to test this, because this is a new version of XCSS, it's 1.3, whereas most games are on 1.2 that I was able to test. And you know, I had to do a little pull in the strings. I had to do a little finessing. And I was able to mod in XCSS 1.3 into a lot of games. So in order to do this, I just went to Intel's GitHub page and they have XCSS listed on there and XCSS 1.3. It's just there. So we go here, and if we look at the actual file, then we see libxcss.dll. We always want to look out for the DLL files that is the upscaler. And let's just see what happens if we look on the properties. Well, it's going to say it's 1.3.0. Now what we can do is go to the Steam library, and you can just drop the DLL in the, the folder for the game. So let's get a remnant two and we get a remnant two again, plugins shared, and then XCSS is here, binaries, third party, Windows 64, and then we get lib xcss.dll. Now, if you're gonna do this in any of your games, make sure to copy the old XCSS file just in case you wanna go back to it, obviously. Copy that, back it up, and then you can delete it. And we can just copy this one into this folder. And now we should be replacing it until XCSS 1. Point. This one was XCSS 1.2.0.13. So we just replaced that one now with 1.3.0.28. Gonna hop back in game and see if it improves things. So we're back in Remnant 2. We're on XCSS quality here, right? And you can see we were barely skating by close to around 58 FPS before, and now we're up to 65 FPS on XCSS 1.3, which is a pretty good improvement. This outperforms FSR in the game. 
I think this is really impressive. And XPSS 1.3 is pretty great too. This means that we can get high quality AI upscaling on all kinds of GPUs. Like on AMD ones, I found that XPSS 1.3 was about 10% faster than XPSS 1.2 at least how I was able to test it in games because I had to mod it and stuff. Then on an old GTX NVIDIA graphics card, so the ones they left behind, I tested the GTX 1070, and this gives us access to high quality upscaling on such an old graphics card, which is really important to breathe a new life. It's really important to talk about how did Intel manage to pull these more performance gains off? Because you would think just logically, because it's running through a DP4A fallback layer and it's running AI on cards that don't really have anything to accelerate AI on them. How do you even get those performance gains? Yeah, they had to do something a, a little interesting. So they said the key improvements to XCSS 1.3 are updated AI models, model optimizations, and additional training on the AI model, and in particular difficult visual elements. The new XCSS version delivers more detailed reconstruction, better anti-aliasing, less ghosting, more temporal st stability, and all kinds of technical terms. But basically what in Intel is saying here is that XCSS 1.3 just looks better than 1.2. So just a huge visual improvement. And you can clearly see just the, this is called a moray pattern. Anytime that there's something that's like, really fine detail. So like this texture here, which still looks flickery on XCSS 1.3, but uh, it definitely is a lot more distracting before it. So there'd be some issues in, in motion, that kind of stuff, because this fine detail, as you upscale, you just kind of lose that data. It just doesn't exist. And I'm guessing the algorithm, the AI algorithm just didn't know what the heck to do with it. And it just looked like a total mess. But with XCSS 1.3, looks better. And this is just one of the improvements that they've done. They didn't really go into more detail, but probably one of the major improvements they were able to do. The ability to teach and improve our AI models is why we've made the decision early on to make XCSS an AI-based upscaler. I think this is some low-key shade being thrown at AMD here because AMD obviously didn't use an AI upscaler. And even though Intel is starting so much later in this game, like XCSS came out in what, late 2022? Intel is just really coming into the GPU game and they're already like beating out AMD in terms of their upscaler quality. Maybe AI, AMD's decision to go AI wasn't, uh, go without AI, maybe wasn't such a good decision. And there's even rumors that AMD is going to be using AI in the future here. Let's figure out how Intel was able to do the improvements to the performance in the game. This is what Intel decided to do. In addition to improving temporal stability, XCSS 1.3 brings general quality improvements with greater detail reconstruction. For gamers, we made the decision to translate that in terms of more performance with updated quality presets and more choices. So there's a little bit of marketing speak going in here, but we'll get into it. So the new image quality presets are now included with XCSS 1.3, which adds ultra performance and ultra quality plus. So if you know anything about uh, upscalers and stuff, you usually get basically like a few presets. You can get like quality, balanced, or performance, and sometimes ultra performance. You're talking in terms of DLSS or FSR. And basically what they did is they added ultra performance and ultra quality plus, as well as native anti-aliasing support. I would like to check this out in a little bit more detail because Intel gave us this little diagram here. What you can see is that these are representing what resolution is being multiplied to get to the native resolution. I think this is a little bit of marketing speak because it makes it look like because they're saying 1.3x or 1.5x, you're getting 1.3x the resolution. And that's not how it works really technically. <laughs> Just so that you guys can recognize this a little bit better, I went into an editor, made this a little bit more clean for you guys. What I did is I took that 1.3x number and basically that is 77% the resolution of native. What Intel is doing is they're saying, oh, we can set ultra quality instead of it being 77% native resolution. 
it could be 67% native resolution. Or quality, which used to be 67% native resolution, can now be 59% resolution. Which means because it's higher quality, it doesn't need as much pixels to start with to get the same level of quality in the end result. So we can upscale from a lower resolution and still get the same result. That's what Intel is claiming here because their new model is just so much better. If you want to steal this image, there you go. That's what it looks like. But yeah, this is one of the major complaints with XESS is that you would have to decrease the resolution scale in a lot of games to get the same level of performance as other upscalers. And it was debatable if you wanted to use XESS because you had to drop your resolution so much more. But Intel just went ahead and made that decision for you. Now you should be getting about the same level of performance with XCSS versus these other upscalers. And what I found in my testing is that's pretty accurate, even against like DLSS on an NVIDIA GPU, like the RTX 4060, XCSS 1.3 is going pretty head to head with that. So it kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out of it from the, the other end and allows a lot of cards to get the same level of upscaling performance while still being on a card that doesn't support AI upscaling. So yeah, though, with this chart, it is kind of funky because yeah, Intel's claiming that their model is better. I can't really always vouch for that. At least when I modded this into games, I still had some issues. So let's hop into this and analyze some of the images to show you why. Now, if you want to know the uh, program that I'm using for this, this is Nvidia's iCat. So image comparison and analysis tool. It's up here in the top comical. Uh, Nvidia, you know, they make DLSS the highest quality upscaler on the market right now. And yes, they make the image comparison tool so you can compare them. Uh, Nvidia knows what the heck they're doing. <laughs> but I will say iCat is a really good tool for this. So if you want to check it out, it will be in the description if you want to try it for yourself. It works best on Nvidia cards. So if you have one, so I tried it on an AMD card, it doesn't work that well. So I don't know, just heads up. On the left side is 1.2. On the right side is 1.3. I'm going to hide my face cam. This classic scene that we've been looking at this whole time, a little bit of issues. One of the major things is when I go over to this right side here, these little arcade machines just look flickery on 1.3. So even though the AI model is better, that doesn't mean it's always going to perform better. Other than that, like the image looks pretty close. Like if we look at this a uh, little, little piece of tree here. But honestly, on the right side, it might look better with XCSS 1.3, and that is at a lower resolution. The next thing I did is like kind of like a walk test, and I'm gonna slow this one down. Honestly, I think against XCSS 1.2, 1.3, they're looking pretty similar here. I would say like this tree in particular looks a slight bit sharper on the left but this does not look bad at all. The main reason I wanted to walk through this and show you this particular scene, red building here with the neon lights on it can look, you know, that moray pattern that we saw with the like a dragon picture. This here can have that same issue. As you can see with XCSS, it looks pretty good on both of them, even walking in motion here. It looks quite good. And the reason I point this out is because if we compare it to FSR, it can really fall apart when you're walking straight. Do you see like these, these trees? So like around where the trees are, where things are getting occluded by the image, they can look really fuzzy and weird as like, it looks almost speckly, spotty, FSR just does not look as good as the XCSS implementations. Let's check this out in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Now, I don't know why I chose this scene that has the ugliest little little dudes in it, but these guys look ugly. <laughs> this is not the upscaler's fault. The detail reconstruction is pretty good, even though we're working on a lower resolution. Like if we just look at, so on the right side is XCSS 1.3, and at times we can even see more fur on her face. Like you see this? as I go bring the line across it. Check over here on Clank here. They look really similar, even though we're getting up from a lower resolution. Good stuff here. Good stuff here from Intel. XCSS 1.3, this is kind of debatable personal preference, which one looks better here. I'd say 1.3 looks a little bit softer on this ugly dude's face. Why are they so ugly? But at the same time, it doesn't look as shimmery. So as you see this in motion, the fur can almost look shimmery on the left side compared to the right side. Pretty good on the right side, even though it might look a little like smooth and that kind of stuff. But overall, it looks quite good on 1.3. So even though we're running from a lower resolution with performance mode, so this is 720p being upscaled 
to 1440p at least on the 1.2 version. So this is only 620p on the right side being upscaled. Now something here too on, on this robot, I do think that the robot looks softer on XCSS 1.3. Do you just see this? She looks a little bit softer, at least to me in game. I don't notice these differences, but Intel's claim that XCSS 1.3 looks better so you can just render it from a lower resolution isn't entirely true. There, there can be some trade-offs. Another one that I wanted to point out, so XCSS 1.3 and Remnant 2 can be a little bit weird because I think it'd be pretty clear that XCSS 1.3 is having a lot more issues in this game. And I think this is because I modded it into the game. So the image itself can look a lot softer you can see that this fence even looks a lot uh, like fizzly on 1.3 instead of everything looks more fizzly and the entire image itself just looks sharper or sharper on 1.2 compared to 1.3. The grading, so if you see down here with the, the grades as I walk over them, look way better on the left side. They're still not perfect, but I'd say 1.2 is doing a lot better here. And I think this is because I modded into the game. Because if I go to XCSS balanced mode on the right side, then we suddenly see that the images look a lot closer. The only problem with this is that the performance of them is about the same, so it doesn't really help all that much but i just wanted to point that out because yeah you can have issues sometimes with just modding it into the game this is why developers need to put it in the game as far as what i can tell it's pretty easy to do and they probably have better tools in order to do it and optimize it a little bit for the games but just me dropping it into the game it seems like xcss 1.3 on performance mode it seems to be rendering up from an even lower resolution you just see everything looks softer like this building on the right side clearly looks softer this pole clearly looks softer there's just no way that these are at the same resolution so that can be an issue from modding it into the game just something to keep an eye out for if you want to try this for yourself overall i had a pretty flawless experience just plopping it into the game which is extremely impressive because you can't always expect something to work that streamlined and this means that on cards that don't support ai upscaling that you can get ai upscaling now there's another side of this too i need to point out is obviously intel is making this primarily for their own gpus so xcss upscaling is hardware accelerated by the xe cores that's why it's called xcss on intel's gpus so let's just check out the image quality that you can get from trying it on an intel graphics card instead and i think that this is pretty amazing so xcss 1.2 is on the left and then 1.3 is on the right as we've been doing it looks really good so even though we're upscaling from 620p at this point on the left side i'm sorry that the image looks so choppy but i think that's just from me doing it through a capture card but you can even see here that pattern that's on the ground here looks so much better on the right side it looks smoother, it looks better. So that has to be done with the upscaling and now 1.3 is doing that a little bit better. That some of the detail and stuff on this like fine stuff looks just a little bit smoother on FS or XCSS 1.3, which is debatable if that's a better or not really, but I, I arguably think it's less distracting to have that shimmeriness going on here. The trees and stuff do look a little bit softer on the right side, but it's, I don't think to say it's like it's really that bad. Like I remember genuinely playing the game and me not really noticing a major difference. So I think that's really important to note is that I couldn't really entirely tell. Again, because this is an Intel GPU, the hardware accelerated upscaling does look a little bit different on this card so that's important to take into account too you see that this is pretty even on both sides so intel is basically just giving you more performance for the same amount of upscaling because they use ai now and that's pretty cool now i'd say the left side looks a little bit sharper the right side isn't as sharp i can't tell if this is because of the smoke or dust that's in front of it or because of that's how that image reconstruction works this arcade machine here to see if it has the same issue and you can see that even with xcs 1.3 on an intel card it can still kind of fall apart a little bit here but overall the images look pretty similar i'd say the ground looks a little bit sharper on the left not all that much but overall, these things look really, 
really good. And I'm really impressed with XCSS 1.3. I'd say the grass looks sharper on 1.2 here. You get a little bit more detail, but that's again, because it's on a higher resolution on the left side. So it doesn't really surprise me. Intel does give you the option to use all of these resolution scaling settings. Now they give you so many options. It's almost ridiculous. This does give you more options to tinker with. Oh, I want a little bit more resolution. Let me just turn it up a little bit. And when it comes to performance, just from going from XCSS 1.2 to 1.3 on an Intel graphics card, we got about 10% more uh, FPS, which is pretty nice. That's mainly just because we're rendering from a lower resolution at that point. I don't think there's any like efficiency improvements with it. And I'm guessing Intel's kind of capped out how efficient it can go. XCSS 1.3, it brings AI upscaling to a ton of other cards and XCSS 1.3 specifically that improves one of the major issues that XCSS has had is it just takes so much more performance to run that it kind of makes you have to choose if you want better performance at a higher base resolution when using FSR compared to XCSS, but this solves a lot of those issues. We're gonna have to see how XCSS 1.3 is gonna stack up against AMD's FSR 3.1 update, which is supposed to be coming soon. I think it's supposed to be coming soon in like quarter two. So I'll be interesting to compare these two. And I also am excited to see XCSS 1.3 just make it into games and see more games try this and implement it properly instead of me modding it into it because obviously we can have some issues at times with that as it doesn't know what resolution to scale it from it just won't use the right one and it can kind of just be a mess if you want to try it for yourself obviously all the links will be in the description to try it and hope you enjoy it i'm really excited for ai upscaling other cards this leads me to just want to use xcss more because that's always something i debate about when i go into a game if i'm not on an nvidia graphics card I don't know if I should use XCSS or FSR and I don't always want to test it. So now Intel is saying, oh, you're going to get the same performance. Now just see which one looks better. And hopefully Intel is trying to make the claim that XCSS, because it's AI based and they can keep improving the model that it's going to be better than FSR. And just seeing by how much Intel has improved their model in like what, a year and a half since XCSS came out compared to AMD's manual handmade algorithm, it just gives me more hope that their AI approach is going to be way better compared to AMDs in the long run. And it just means better upscaling for everyone. And it brings some life into older cards, allow you to play at higher resolutions and stuff. So if you upgraded your monitor to a higher resolution, but you haven't upgraded your graphics card yet, then this can make that a little bit easier to run and you'll get better quality. I just, I really like it. I'm excited about it. So let me know what you think. And if you've tried it, it's super easy to implement your games. Just remember to save your old file just in case something were to go wrong. All right, back it up, back it up guys. And other than that, that's been about it for me. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.